Okay, so I'm filming this December 2nd. I don't know what day I'm gonna, I'm gonna end up uploading, but here is my M61 Marine setup. Particularly, this is probably 66, 67 maybe. Uh, I'm doing this setup because John started the Marine kit and I wanted to start one too, so he's been helping me out with this. We'll start here. So until I get an M61 belt, I'm using the M36. I feel it's more accurate than me using the M56. So this is the standard until I get an M61. John has like three of these now and they are crazy expensive. But it's pretty much the same thing, except there's no uh, buttons to keep these in place. These are M61 uh, ammo pouches, originally designed for the M14, but once the Marines got over there, they were issued M16s in like 67. So they were still using M14 gear for the M16s, and these just really aren't that good. You can only fit one mag in there versus an M56 pouch, where you can fit three mags per pouch. So I have one, two, and three. Over here, I have a Korean War canteen. This one's 1952. Uh, Marines are being issued these all the time, as, as, as well as being issued steel canteens. Uh, Marines were still getting steel canteens in the 80s. I mean, as many of you guys know, Marines get, well, they get the last of everything. So uh, most of the year is pretty outdated during Vietnam. Uh, I think their gear might be up to date today, though. Next up, I have the first pattern M56 belt. I mean, M56 suspenders, because I want to use first pattern army gear as well as uh, marine gear. So it kind of makes sense. You kind of see them switch into the army gear, which they ha did end up doing later on in the war. So you can see this set is already switching to army gear with first pattern M56 suspenders and a first pattern M56 canteen. With an incorrect canteen, I don't know why that's in there. For video purposes, I'll grab another one of my hundreds of canteens. Slap that puppy in there. Pretend that never happened. So it is cotton trim, so it's first powder. And right dab, right dab in the middle, I don't know, smack dab in the middle, that makes sense? Yeah, all right. I have an IFAC. Besides some grease gun pouch, this might be one of my favorite pieces of gear. I got this for John in the trade. The kid has a couple of these. I don't have the correct contents in there, but I do have fuel dressing, chapstick, uh, the nose and eye gear pop. Nose and eye drop. I'm sorry, I'm kind of sick right now, so. I'm more mumbly and stuttery than usual. So uh, I also have iodine tablets in there, however you say it. Then I have another Carlisle bandage pouch, which I am going to mix things about. I'm starting to think that maybe it's just something the reenactors started using. See, I don't know everything, all right? I'm kind of just going with the flow here, and I might end up ditching that. I already covered this in, obviously, my pilot survival life, which you guys have seen in all of my website videos. This one is my original sheath. The rest of them have reproductions. I put my original on this one because I'm not going to be using this that much. I'll go to a couple events with John, maybe a parade or two. But I enjoy doing first cab more than I do anything else. And finishing it all off, I do have two more M61 ammo pouches. Uh, Gear-wise, I do have a pack. I do have fatigues. Minus the pants, I need poplin pants. I got boots, I got helmets, I got uh, everything I need to finish a Marine setup. Minus the Poplin pants, USMC shelter half, and finally I need a uh, three cell grenade pouch, which I will be getting that in the near future. Uh, thanks for watching, comment if you have any questions, I'll be sure to answer, and subscribe to my Instagram. Thanks.